Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the Bishop and Doctor of the Church, St. Francis de Sales. St. John Paul II called him the Doctor or Teacher of Divine Love, teaching us to always do every action in God's love. Today also we include in our prayers our new rector, Monsignor Rolly de la Cruz, as he celebrates today his 64th birthday. May the Lord Jesus continue to bless him in his life of ministry in the Manila Cathedral. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of souls willed that the Bishop, St. Francis de Sales, become all things to all, graciously grant that following his example, 
we may always display the gentleness of your charity in the service of our neighbor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since the law has only a shadow of the good things to come and not the very image of them, it can never make perfect those who come to worship by the same sacrifices that they offer continually each year. Otherwise, would not the sacrifices have ceased to be offered since the worshippers once cleansed, would no longer have had any consciousness of sins? But in those sacrifices, there's only a yearly remembrance of sins, for it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when he came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but the body you prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, burnt offerings and sin offerings, you, ne you neither died, desired nor delighted in in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will... We have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord and he stooped toward me, and he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said, I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Please stand. <laughs> Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers arrived at the house. Standing outside, they sent word to Jesus and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking around at those seated in the circle, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We commemorate today St. Francis de Sales. And it is very significant because just this, November, just this December 2022, we commemorated the 400th death anniversary of St. Francis de Sales. And Pope Francis himself wrote an apostolic letter to commemorate this occasion. And Pope Francis entitled his apostolic letter, Totum Amoris Est. Everything pertains to love. Lahat ay tungkol sa pag-ibig. Because St. Francis de Sales, as a doctor or teacher of the church, wrote many treatises, not on intellectual reflections, but according to Pope Francis, he wrote a lot on the matters of the heart. St. Francis de Sales, as a priest, always accompanied ordinary people in their day-to-day -day lives through confession, through spiritual direction and counseling and discernment. So he was aware of the matters of the hearts of daily ordinary people. And St. Francis de Sales would always say to the people, in the end, everything goes back to the question of where the greatest love is to be found. He said, if you are making choices and decisions, Always look, where can you find the greatest love? And that will guide you in your choices and decisions in life. We hear this in our first reading today from the letter to the Hebrews, reminding us that our worship of God is not dependent on the offering on the amount of the offering or sacrifice, but on the love that you give in this sacrifice. That is why the Father is pleased with the sacrifice of Jesus. Because it is not about what He offered, but on the obedience and love that He showed in His worship an offering. We see this also in our gospel reading today. When the crowd seated listening to Jesus told him, Lord, 
your mother and your brothers and sisters are here. Pero hindi sila inuna ni Jesus. Jesus told them, My mother and my brother and sister are not just those related to me in blood, but those who follow and obey the will of the Father. Our closeness to God is not because we are related to Him through blood, but because of our love for God. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, I will leave you this question that whenever you will make a decision, always ask, where can I love God more? That is the decision that you need to take and make. When I was a seminarian, when I was studying in the seminary, I would always be a member of the academic formation committee in the seminary. I would love, you know, organizing academic conferences. I would like to always write in our journals, in the seminary newsletter, once I was assigned as the editor-in-chief of our seminary newsletter, I would always love to do those things in the Intellectual Academic Formation Committee. But one year, towards the end of my seminary formation, I was surprised I was assigned in the Manualia Committee. Wag ko kayong magulat, no? It is just a beautiful Latin term, manualia, but it is the committee in charge of cleaning the seminary. So, it has a beautiful Latin name, manualia committee, but it is the one in charge of cleaning the seminary, everything from the corridors to the toilets of the seminarians. So, my... Uh, seminary formator may be noticed for the longest time I was a member of the academic formation but now I am in charge of the manual cleaning of the seminary and he told me I noticed that you do not like your assignment so I told him yes this is my first time that I am assigned in this committee all along I loved the academic formation committee and my seminary formator told me, you always ask, where will you love God more? Maybe you wanted to be assigned in the academic formation because you loved it. You loved academic formation. You enjoyed doing it. But is that where you will learn how to love God more? And so I assigned you to this committee because we noticed that you do not love cleaning. <laughs> you do not love manual work. But look, if that is where you will learn how to love God more. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Eucharist, let St. Francis de Sales teach us today that everything goes back to the question, where can we find the greatest love? And whenever we make choices, decisions, options in life, let us always ask ourselves, where can I love God more? Amen. Please stand. Jesus' message of salvation and his own life are our guidelines in seeking God's will. Let us pray to God, our Father, that we may follow and live his message. 
For every petition, let us say, Make us servants of your will, O Lord. Make us servants of your will, O Lord. That the Church may live the spirit of the Gospel and always seek God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us servants, servants of, of your, your will, will, O Lord. Lord. That we may deepen our faith by extending services to the poor, the handicapped, and the disadvantage. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us servants of, of your will, will O Lord. Lord. That we may become true members of God's family by being faithful to the will of the Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, make us servants of your will, O Lord, that we may make God's word alive in us by living it out in the daily circumstances of, of our life. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, make us servants, servants of your, your will, O Lord. Lord. May God help us repair the harm that we have inflicted upon each other and the divisions we have created among our people. May God send the grace of His Spirit to heal our divisions and gift us with the unity for which Jesus prayed. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us servants of your will, O Lord, that the dead may find perpetual light and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us servants, servants of, of your, your will, O Lord. Lord. Lord, make us worthy to belong to your family by our life of faith expressed in our good deeds. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Through this saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, kindle in our hearts that divine fire of the Holy Spirit with which you wonderfully inflamed the most gentle soul of St. Francis de Sales, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Francis de Sales, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe 
in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through the sacrament we have received, we may imitate on earth the charity and meekness of St. Francis de Sales and so attain, like him, the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.